So here you can see a map of China. Shanghai, can you find Shanghai? Here in the east coast of, uh, of China. Can, can you please let me know if uh, any one of you have traveled to China before? Could you raise your hand, please? You can use a... This is the first time to... Whoa, Javier, you've been to China. When was that? Could you share with us? Four, four years. I, I think it was about four years ago. Wow. So did you like it? Yeah, I liked it, but I don't remember a lot about it. Uh -huh. So maybe we, we really hope you can come back again uh, in five years, in, in, I mean, next year. So China actually has over 100 cities uh, with a population of greater than 1 million. And Shanghai is the financial center of it all and has a population of over 24 million, uh, which is about two thirds of the population of Canada, just in Shanghai, big city. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a closer look at Shanghai. Um, I myself have been living in Shanghai for over 20 years and I'm still in love with the city. Um, so this is a map of Shanghai and Shanghai is a metropolis that is heavily populated with people coming from all over China and all over the world. It is more than super convenient and very safe and where we can find traditional um, neighborhoods as well as shopping districts in, in the city. You can find bubble tea shops everywhere with hundreds of flavors that you could pick from. Um, this is an international city where you can access tourist spots like a traditional preserved water town, as well as Disneyland by public transportation with an hour. And visit, you can visit all the museums, the traditional streets and see traditional uh, Chinese architecture. Um, but you can also experience all the entertainment a big city can provide. And it's very easy to navigate. We have 16 subway lines that reach all over the city and an excellent public bus system that make using public transportation a convenient and inexpensive way to get around Shanghai. Um, and cab fees are, are pretty low actually compared to the US and there is an app like Uber called Didi that make taking cabs a good option as well. So all the city um, touristic, touristic spots and other places of interest are reachable by subway and buses. And our study center um, is located in, as I mentioned before, East China Normal University, ECNU, which is here in Kutuo district, as you can see in the map. Um, it is also the, it, I mean, um, it's like five to 10 minutes walking distance from the nearest subway station and also uh, a similar distance uh, away from Shanghai's biggest shopping mall and one or two subway stations away from other shopping districts with lots of dining options from traditional Chinese cuisine as well as Japanese, Korean and other Asian country cuisine to Western food. So you don't need to worry about your life here. You can enjoy all kinds of food and um, here. So then why is Shanghai an awesome destination to learn about business? Here are some top reasons from our previous students. Shanghai is um, so-called the Silicon Valley of the East. And Shanghai is one of the just a few special economic zones in China, which means it has a larger business focus than other cities in Shanghai. But not only in Shanghai, but uh, we will, you will have the opportunity for cultural interaction and get to know the sights, the sounds, and amazing food and culture all around. We hope you can go home with the expanded Mandarin language skills, a new perspective on global entrepreneurship, and the confidence to succeed in whatever comes next. We really hope we can welcome you here in Shanghai, China. And I will talk a little bit more about the program, the Global Entrepreneurship Program uh, in summer. So this is a typical week you might have when you're here in Shanghai. 
you will have 15 hours of interactive instruction. So you have three hours classes per day, Monday through Fridays. So in, in the classroom, you will practice uh, solving problems, developing solutions, and uh, marketing them to the world. Um, you will learn design thinking skills, and how to pitch a proposal and innovation and cultivate an entrepreneurial spirit. So in class, you will learn uh, the various elements of starting a business by working with your classmates and pitching your ideas. You will take full advantage of the Shanghai city, uh, connecting presentations from local entrepreneurs and business owners, uh, research on local industries and various cultural activities to uh, what you learn in class. And also we will have Chinese language classes for you. Um, during the interactive Mandarin classes, you will study the language at the level that works best for you actually. So we will have survival Chinese, conversational Chinese for beginners. And actually we will have we will also have business Chinese for those who have already studied the language before. So the language class. And we will also have daily cultural activities and excursions. You will also have free time to explore the city and have fun. And um, you will have uh, meals together with your, with your friends and program leaders here. And let me give you some examples of the daily activities and excursions. Um, here you can see we have site visits, we have workshops and guest lectures, um, and also culture activities and overnight excursions. Uh, for example, you, you might take a, a guided walking to old Shanghai and also more than Pudong new area. Um, our previous students had the chance to climb up the Shanghai Tower. We'll have site visits to business and manufacturing uh, sites like Shanghai Bao Steel Factory, Shanghai Bao Gang, or Shanghai Volkswagen. Um, we'll have chance to visit the uh, American Chamber of Commerce. Um, and I would like to talk a little bit more about the overnight excursion to Hangzhou. Um, we take students on a weekend trip to Hangzhou. We take a boat cruise and around the Hangzhou most famous West Lake, we enjoy the sea there. And, but the most importantly, we take students to the Alibaba Group's main corporate campus in Xixi, Hangzhou. Alibaba Group, as some of you might know, is an incredibly success, successful uh, multinational company specializing in e-commerce and technology. Um, founded in 1999, the company owns and operates an area of businesses around the world. It is one of the world's most uh, lucrative, well-known companies, and one of the top 10 largest companies in the world. So if you will be here in Shanghai, you will have a chance to go to their main campus in Xixi, Hangzhou. So that's an uh, overnight excursion. Well, housing, uh, you will be living in an off-campus extended housing, uh, hotel style housing, and you will share room with your, uh, with other CIE students. Uh, and also I would like to talk a little bit more about uh, the program leaders, uh, because as mentioned a little bit before, um, one, each 10 students will be chaperoned by one program leader who is from the States. Um, most of them will ha have, uh, working experience in uh, US high school or elementary schools. So um, those program leaders will be the connection, the cultural bridge um, for you all. And they are from the States, but they also speak Chinese. They will chaperone all of you during the whole duration, the whole three weeks uh, when you are here in Shanghai. So, that's about organizations and program leaders. And maybe a little bit more about, um, I know some of you may have questions about um, your flights or um, like the first day when you get to Shanghai, you will be picked up, picked up, I mean, you will be chaperoned 
um, by the program leaders. The program leaders will fly with you from the US to Shanghai in groups. And you will be picked up here in Shanghai, either in Pudong Airport or Hongqiao Airport by local staff. So once you're in Shanghai, we will be with you. Okay, here's a, a COVID related policies and current conditions. Actually on this page, this is only the current condition. Um, you can see that the, the 14 days quarantine are still uh, required, but we are both the CIE headquarters and Shanghai team are paying close attention to the policy change. Um, once the uh, regulations are lifted, um, we will inform the um, CIE headquarters immediately. And um, so we just, uh, we will, we'll, you will also be informed as soon as we know. Uh, we are quite optimistic that the regulations will be lifted in spring or summer. So we are really excited that we can uh, host you all in Shanghai in summer 2022. So if you have any questions related to uh, the COVID policies, we'll be answering, we'll be more than happy to answer all the questions uh, in the next 15 minutes. Okay, so then if you would like to know more about the Shanghai program, the um, and CIE Shanghai, you can follow us on Instagram, you can scan the QR code or find us on Instagram. So this is uh, all from the presentation and uh, our student services manager, Qian Rong Tang Tang Lao Shi and I will be here to answer your questions. Feel free to unmute yourself and uh, or use the chat box to ask questions. We will be here. Please let us know uh, if you have any questions. Okay, I see a question here in the chat box. Are the kids allowed to go around in the city by themselves? Um, I mean, we recommend, we suggest that they go around in groups with their friends um, or uh, with the program leaders. But as I said before, Shanghai is very safe. So if they are, uh, they want to explore the city by themselves, they, are, they, they can be, feel, they can feel free to go. But we, we have a curfew um, policy here in Shanghai. So uh, the students will come back to the uh, hotel, to the extended housing place by 9.30 p.m. on weekdays and 10 p.m. Uh, in weekends. They will have free time and they can feel free to explore the city by themselves. I hope that answers questions. And our student services team, the, the whole Shanghai team are here. Um, so if your if the kids need some suggestions um, for like where they sh they can go, how they can explore the city during the weekend, they can feel free to contact us. Let us know. Uh, what is the schedule on weekends? Actually, because this is a three week program, um, there will be two weekends and one weekend, in one weekend we schedule the overnight excursion to Hangzhou. So the kids will, will have one weekend free. Um, so that, that, that is actually a free weekend. They can um, 
go explore the city with the, their friends or they can come to us for suggestions. We can try our best to, to give suggestions. Our meals provided by CIE are, well, they have to cook and buy grocery. Uh, because they are living, they will be living in a hotel style accommodation. Uh, they, it might not be easy to cook, but because we are having classes in ECNU, East China Normal University, so uh, they will, students will have access to their cafeterias in the campus. It will be very convenient to have meals there. Oh, and students, uh, they will get the stipend, the meal stipend uh, at, at the beginning of the program. So once they're here, we'll give them this meal stipend for the three weeks. Uh, what is the general age? We hosted a group of uh, entrepreneurship program students in 2019. Uh, the average age is like 17 to 18. Feel free to unmute yourself if you have any question. Just let us know. What airport do they need? Um, I think we will have multiple options. Uh, it really depends. We'll have a survey before um, you purchase the air, airport, airplane tickets. Uh, so we'll gather information and then I think the, the detailed information will be sent from the from CIE headquarter. What are the visa requirements for students in program? Student visa is required actually. Hi, I wanted to ask about some of the subjects that you guys talk about in the classes, like more detailed about what the students learn. Uh, you mean about the content course, right? Mm. Yes. I think the uh, CIE headquarter will send out the course syllabi once you are enrolled in the program so that you can have a better understanding of the, the course. But uh, I can, I can actually, give me a minute, I can paste it here in the chat box. Okay. How do people buy things? With cash or Alipay? Alipay is the most convenient way um, to pay. But uh, uh, 
because uh, this is channel from the student service team. And so I'm going to answer these questions. Usually, people uh, we, we hear uh, you to buy, we will use Alipay or WeChat Pay to buy things. We don't really um, bring cashes, but that's for our communion. Uh, all the I think all the shops and here also accept cashes. So if uh, students are able to open their Alipay accounts, that will be very, very convenient. They can use that to buy things in almost um, all the shops here, whether it's a shopping mall or just a, um, just a little for them breakfast shop nearby campus. And they can also use the Alipay account to um, get on the public um, bus or metro, things like this. For example, for myself, I, I use Alipay every day or WeChat Pay, but I I still think um, credit card you is like very convenient here to use as well. Uh, maybe not that many. Yeah. Um, so if you if you do have a um, credit card, make sure that you notify your banks. Um, so uh, to notify your banks that it can to allow it can be used in China. And in um, most big shopping malls, they also accept um, international credit card. Yeah. Thank you. Well, CIE helped with the visa process or are we expected to do it on our own? Mm. So um, we are still waiting uh, for more detailed visa information, but according to the past experience, uh, st if students um, applying for a student visa, uh, usually we will send out the uh, required material materials to the to our headquarters, and they will uh, mail that to you, and then you can use those materials to go to the consulates to apply the visa on your own. So that's from the past experience.
can feel free to let us know if you have any further question, any question about Shanghai, about this program or other programs. Uh, but feel free to leave the meeting if you don't have any question. But we will be here until 10, I mean, uh, in, in another 30 minutes, half an hour. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a good night. Hi, can you talk about um, in previous years, what did the students say like was their favorite part of their experience? Um, I think the, the trip to Hangzhou to Alibaba was a real highlight. Okay. Not only our students, but also our program leaders. Um, yeah. I mean that, yeah. So, um, and also I think an opportunity to make friends here. Okay. Yeah, and some, some students said that's, uh, I mean, just the traveling to China, see what China is like from their own eyes is a, yeah. that's a life-changing experience. Okay. And also um, not because I'm a language teacher, but uh, some students from um, Global Entrepreneurship Program uh, started to learn the language after they participated in this program when they are back um, to the U.S. They told oh. us that they are in love with the language. And that's very exciting to know. Yeah, that does sound exciting. Mm -hmm. Do you think this program prepares you to start your own business in the future? Um, I think it will be a good start. Not only, I mean, whatever comes next, I, I think that's a very good start. Okay. We had a kind of um, competition session uh, of the final pitch. Um, that was amazing. I think that's a, when students were saying the trip to Alibaba was a highlight for for me, for myself, mm -hmm. that finally surprised me a lot. That's how students uh, could do, what students could do after only three week program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your questions.
Now we still have one family, I guess, here. Do you have any question for us? Yeah, 